So here we have seven of the continents listed, and we have one of the oceans, the Pacific Ocean. So I want to start off by looking right here at map number one. All right, so I want to start right up here. What continent is that? Great job. It's North America, so I'm going to put a number one right there. So let's look at number two, South America. Can you find South America? Great job. South America is here, so I'm going to put a number two. What about number three, Africa? Can you find Africa on the map? Great job. It's right across from South America, number three. This is Africa. Kind of, you know, it kind of fit like right here in this section, right? Kind of fit like a puzzle. What about Antarctica, number four? Great job. Antarctica is way down here. That's where we have our South Pole. What about Australia? Great job. Australia is right over here on the edge. What about Europe? Can we find Europe on the map? Great job. Europe is right here, number six. Kind of like split somewhere around there, I think. And what about Asia, number seven? Great job. Asia, number seven, is right here. What about the Pacific Ocean? Can you find the Pacific Ocean? Great job. If you look at the map here, the Pacific Ocean isn't just in one spot. It's actually kind of split here. You have part of the Pacific Ocean right over here, and the rest of it's over here. Because remember, the map, uh, the Earth, is, is a sphere, right? It's round, okay? So that's the Pacific Ocean. I want to now take a look over here at map number two. Now, this map is still a map of the Earth. It doesn't look exactly the same as the first one we looked at because now you have Africa on the far left, but it's okay. So no matter what kind of map you see, you should still be able to label it. So we still have number one, North America here, number two, South America there, number three, Africa right there. Antarctica, you can't see it on this map, but Antarctica will be right down there, number four. We have Australia, number five, Europe, number six, number splits somewhere around there, and Asia, number seven, and now here the Pacific Ocean is, in just, is just in one spot, right here. The Pacific Ocean falls between the Americas, so one and two, and Asia and Australia. That's your Pacific Ocean right there. So now let's look at how the crust is actually divided up into plates. All right, so let's take a look at the major tectonic plates. So in the map that we have here, you see really thick black bold lines. These bold lines are separating one plate from another plate. Now the arrows show the direction that the plate is going. So for example, if we look at this section right here, we see that one plate goes to the left and the other goes to the right. So in that specific spot, you can tell that the plates separate from one another. So that's how, that's how the arrows are being used on this page. Now over here, on this side here, you have seven major plates that we're going to be looking at. So let's start with the very first one. Number one is the North American plate. So the keyword here is North America. So you just look at your map and you figure out where is North America on this map. Wherever North America is, the plate that lies on top or under North America, that would be your North American plate. So can you find it? Great job. This right here is the North American plate. Number two, African plate. So again, Africa being our keyword for our continent. So find Africa on the map and the plate that lies underneath Africa, that's your African plate. Can you find it? Great job. Here's number two, the African plate. Three, you have the Eurasian plate. Now here, Eurasia is not a continent itself, but you have the EUR from Europe and then you have Asia. So find Europe and find Asia on the map, and the plate that lies under that would be your Eurasian plate. Can you find Europe and Asia? Great job. So right here, that's number three. That is your Eurasian plate. Number four, you have the South American plate. South America. Can you find South America on the map? Great job. So here's number four. There's your South American plate. Number five is the Indo-Australian. So for sure you have Australia. So you should be able to spot Australia in the map. Australia is right here. So where do we get Indo from? 
Well, Indo comes from India. And for those of you who don't know where India is on the map, I'm going to circle it for you. India is right there. So because this plate lies underneath the Indian section, the Indian uh, country, and then the continent of Australia, that is the Indo-Australian plate. So number five, we would write down right here. Number six is the Antarctic plate, so Antarctica. So we don't have Antarctica on the map, but we know that Antarctica lies down here in this area. So that entire bottom section right there would be your Antarctic plate. So here, here, right, that whole section right there, that's your Antarctic plate. And the last major plate we have is the Pacific plate. So that's your Pacific Ocean. Now we said the Pacific Ocean lied between two sections of the Earth. It lies between the Americas and Asia, Australia. So in this map, it's split into two separate sections. Can you find the Pacific Ocean here? Great job. Here's part of it, and here's the other part. So that would be your Pacific plate. Now there's one plate that we have left here that I didn't put here in the major seven because it's not one of the major ones, but I couldn't find a map without it. So if you're wondering about this plate that we have right there that I just put a question mark, that plate right there is called the Nazca plate. So it's not one of the major ones, but again, that's the only map I could find that had these major plates right there. Alright, thanks for watching, young man. The next video that you need to be looking at is one of the different types of plate founders.